10 past eight, welcome back. In the time we're on air this morning, 18 women will be diagnosed with breast cancer, becoming some of the 48,000 who get the disease in the UK every year. Well, around a third of those will have a mastectomy and it's hoped new treatment guidelines released today will improve the quality of their care. We're joined this morning by Bernie Nolan, who's in Glasgow, and Linda Nolan, her sister, of course, here in the studio. They have both had mastectomies. The first, Dr Hilary Jones is at the Royal Hampshire County Hospital this morning. How important is immediate reconstruction then, Hilary? Oh, that's a shame. That is a great shame, mm. but not to worry because Linda Nolan's here in the studio and her sister Bernie is in Glasgow this morning. And Bernie, first of all, it's, uh, it's great to see you, really good to see you, and thank you very much indeed for, for joining us this morning. And obviously these new regulations is to try and make sure that as many women as possible have the choice that they can have reconstruction whilst they have the mastectomy, they can have it at mm. the same time, which is what happened to you. Yeah, absolutely. I think knowledge is power as well. And, and if you've got all the details and all the facts, then, then you should have the choice. And of course, for me, reconstruction straight after mastectomy is a wonderful thing because, you know, to wake up and have, still have breasts is psychologically brilliant, you know, especially how my surgery was so fantastic. And I think, you know, as long as the woman is, is healthy, it's, it's safe for her to have the reconstruction straight away, I would recommend it fully. No, very much so. And, and as you said, it is actually all about at a time when you're going through this and it's so, so tough. It's, it's having that sort of control a mm. little bit. You know, that you, you've, you've got a say in what's happening to you almost. You're consulted. Yeah, of course, absolutely. Because for a, for, for a woman, you know, losing a breast is a major trauma in your life. And I think you need to have all the, the, the decisions. You should make the decisions, but for, provided they're healthy, you know. Um, and as I say, the reconstruction side of things, I just, it was the most wonderful thing for me because I know that um, Linda, my sister, hi Linda, um, <laughs> I know that she didn't, wasn't able to have the reconstruction straight away, so, and I think that affected her, if, if I'm not wrong in saying, she, she would rather have the reconstruction oh, straight yeah. away. Yeah, yeah exactly. In what way did it impact you know? then on you? Well, I mean, I don't know what I expected when I came round, because yeah. I knew <laughs> I was having a mastectomy, but when I came round, they, um, I, I looked under the blankets and went, oh, they did is. take it. Yeah. And it, of course, it's completely flat, mm. you know. Um, and so then you're worrying, oh, my God, I look a freak. How will I get out? What will my husband think? So. Um, what clothes am I going to wear? What, what do I do about, you know, lingerie, all of that. Yeah. And... Um, and so with Bernie, it was amazing because when she woke up, she looked the same. You yeah, know. she still had a little bit better. Still 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 better. <laughs> still <laughs> better. <laughs> She's true. <laughs> she was uh, like that. <laughs> um, so yeah, I do, but I couldn't have reconstruction straight away right. because I had it had gone into my uh, my nodes, my lymph nodes, mm. and so you know. Not every woman can have it straight away. If you could have, have, would, you have done, would you have gone oh, for if it? I'd have had, if I'd have had mm. the choice, mm. I definitely would do that. And that's what these new guidelines are all about. It's about giving women more of a choice. It's yes. actually making sure that yeah. they have got a say in, in oh, what's absolutely. going to happen to them. It's such a scary time that, mm. you know, from the moment they say you have breast cancer, you don't hear anything they're saying, yeah. you know. Mm. And initially then I went into another room and they said, oh, we can take you in... in three days time and I was going whoa hold on a minute yeah. I have to get it all together in my head first sure. before we just go in and do it you no, know but Bernie so. was amazing she went online and, and looked for everything mm. I mean I'm one of these people that you know they say take a tablet and I'll take a tablet you mm. know I don't even know what it's for sometimes but <laughs> with Bernie she knew everything oh, I didn't obviously they can't hear me no, yeah, we can, love. Uh, we can hear you. Hello? No, of course we can. Hello? Of course we can. <laughs> I can't well. get a word in with that girl there, Linda. Shut up! <laughs> 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 no, I just wanted to say two things. First of all, I didn't, I had, um, it was in my lymph nodes as well, but um, I, was, I was able to have the um, um, mastectomy and reconstruction at the same time. Mm -hmm. And also, I say knowledge is power, but also my surgeon wanted to tell me every single last detail of what was going to happen. And I said, look, I'm going to be asleep. Just do it. I don't mm. really, sometimes knowledge is, is too much, you know, yeah. scary. Mm. So um, there's a the fine line, you know. No, I, I understand. Yeah. I completely understand that. Can I say that you are looking absolutely fantastic? Yeah, yeah. And I know that you're up in Glasgow because you're working, because you never stop. Yeah. <laughs> you, you never, ever stop. <laughs> um, so I'm in Chicago. I yeah, know, I'm in Chicago at the King's Theatre. So. And then you're going to be it's doing... My, it's my um, penultimate week. Oh, right. Okay. But then it doesn't stop. And it's panto, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, she's playing herself. Yeah. Bad oh, yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, listen, thank you both for, for, for coming in. It's great to talk to you, it really is. And Bernie and, and Linda, I'll be talking to you later after half yes. past eight. Yeah, yeah lovely to see you both. Thank you. Thank very you. Much indeed. All this week, uh, we're meeting the finalists of Daybreak's Sketch Santa competition. We gave kids the chance to design a Christmas card that will be sold for charity. Now, we had thousands of entries, and the lucky winner's cards will go into a pack featuring designs by lots of different celebrities. So it's time to meet our third finalist, 14-year-old.